We are coming up on the 10 year anniversary of one of the deadliest tornadoes in American history. On May 22nd, 2011, an EF5 tornado tore through Joplin, Missouri, killing 158 people and causing widespread destruction. It's an event that changed how weather warnings are issued and still lingers in the mind of community members like Ray Foreman, a chief meteorologist for News Nation's affiliate in the Joplin area. Earlier today, I had the opportunity to speak to Ray about what it was like living through through that storm and its aftermath. What stands out more than anything about that day in your mind? Honestly, the main thing that stands out to me is how well the community came together. And I mean, immediately. There were people that anyone anywhere near or in the damage zone became first responders. And uh, they were using doors off destroyed homes as, as stretchers to carry people to the hospital. When this was happening, what sort of emotions were you feeling? I didn't realize the gravity of the situation until it became dark. Once night came, we had our tower camera focused on that section of town, and it was just this dark swath with no street lights, no traffic lights. The only lights you could see were emergency personnel, and that, that's really when it hit me of how bad this was. In your own mind, and looking back 10 years as we get to the anniversary, uh, what sort of things are you going to be seeing? I, I think this is something that's going to stick with everyone for a very long time, even though it's been 10 years. Uh, there's still a lot of fresh wounds, you might say. Uh, you can see it around town, and unfortunately, this time of year when we start talking about potential tornadoes, that always has people on their edge. Uh, in fact, we had one two years ago on May 22nd that was almost headed towards Joplin. And that was a surreal moment when we started doing the sirens and talking about the warning for Joplin as it was actually almost taking the same path. It wasn't as, as broad, it wasn't as, as devastating, but it still claimed some lives and caused a lot of damage. But just the simple fact that it was May 22nd and we had that happening at the same time, it was, it was fresh in everyone's mind, but we all came together really well and quickly here. Mm. Hard to believe 10 years, but I, I remember those images that came out of Joplin were just, it, it, it was, I know it's cliches, but it was, it was like a bomb just went off for miles. Nothing left. The width wow. on it, and it's just like a plow went through and just carved right down the middle. And pretty amazing that, I mean, we've gone so long since we've seen an event like this. We've not had a deadly tornado like this since 1947, mm -hmm. before tornado warnings hardly even existed. Mm -hmm. And uh, we usually only average 80 deaths per year. We blew that away in one storm one tornado over 150 that hasn't happened again more than 150 deaths in a whole year mm -hmm. since 1974 improved warning systems help but sometimes when a storm is is just that destructive uh, it's difficult to get to safety you got it you got to be ready for it no matter what All right. 10 years Thanks thank you Gerard. wow